On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a uh, one, a blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so we can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, we are going to revisit yesterday morning's vlog where I made mention of three knockings and clappings that resulted in the last of life of three men. We are talking about a man identified as Chad, a next man identified as Marvin Christie but more popularly known in the streets as Bolo, said to be a taxi operator. And the next man will end up lose theme tree pines in the bottom pin area, known as Nikai Dove. Now we are going to kick it off this morning with the likes of Nikai Dove. Now many are wondering why this little youth named Nikai gets slapped away. But many persons from the general Nawood area, especially that of bottom pin, would have known why Nikai lost his life. Now Nikai Dove is nothing as his last name suggests. In fact, this man is the total opposite of what a dove supposed to be like. As his street name, his corner boy name, he's known in the criminal underworld as Satan or Devil. That's the name that he is affectionately called by his criminal counterparts. So Nikai Dove, otherwise known as Satan or Devil, this is his story. Now this criminal element here is from the general bottom pen community who is a part of a gang known as the West Best Gang that is situated in Bottom Pen in Glendevon, Montego Bay, St. James. Now, this man presently on the screen, I have to bring to your attention as he is the so-called Don for that gang. He goes by the name of Jones Man. And of course, there's other members that I could go on and on about to include his smaller brother. Also to include one known as Dada, an ex one known as Nido, an ex one known as Winter. And the list goes on. Now Nikai Dove is definitely no stranger to crime and violence. No stranger to the St. James police and definitely no stranger to you, the regular members of Chan Public from the general Nawood area, as you would have known, seen and heard of his atrocities that he has committed over the past couple of years and especially one specific atrocity that he committed, a hold on and take type of situation in that community. I went and we said, hold on and take. We're simply stating that him pick a young girl, Cherry, who was under the age of consent. Now, here is the court records to prove the same. Now, we're going to backtrack a little bit to show you some of Nikai Dove's known associates as he was a knackis and clappis for the likes of some of these men. Now, on your screen, I did this vlog over nine months ago. So if you have missed this vlog, 
please go over and watch it because it's a rather interesting one. Yeah, man. Now, the man on your screen is known as Michael. That's his birth name. But he's popularly called in the streets, Michael's Chip. A so-called artist, of course, you don't know how the man to be a criminal elements them do it. They associate music and try to use that as a cover-up for their illegal and illicit dealings and, of course, their criminal lifestyle. Now, this controversial figure is a known Nakis and Clappis who hails from out of Henda Nawood. Now, on your screen... Is a picture with yours truly, Nikoi Dove, and of course, Mikos Chip together. Now, upon learning that Nikoi met his demise, this criminal element here presented on your screen, which by the way was taken from that video that I did over nine months ago, the one in the white to the left, known as Clutcher, placed Nikoi Dove on his Instagram profile picture mourning the loss of his dearly beloved Nakis and Clappis. Yeah, man. So this just goes to show the type of person that Nikoi Dove was, hence the reason why he met his demise. Now, who took his life? Many are wondering... Some know the answers already, but some is definitely wondering who. No, some is wondering, could it be an internal conflict in the gang? Could he have been taken out by one of his own? Or was he taken out by the YAK gang from the Warika Hill community in Norwood? No, that is for a whole different vlog. You will just have to wait and see. So I can move on to the next man who met his demise over the weekend. Now we are going to talk about the one known as Chad. As I stated in yesterday morning's vlog, that Chad was a known scammer from the Mount Salem community. Chad lost his life over the weekend along the Salt Spring Road in a section called Tenement. Now, as I stated in yesterday morning's vlog, a so-called criminal element who has named himself a Don that goes by the name of Tupac was implicated in that brazen knockings and clappings of Chad. No, as promised, this is Tupac presently on your screen. Tupac, whose birth name is Kemar Mackenzie, was one of the trigger men who took the life of Chad. Tupac, a known Nakis and Clappis, and residents out there definitely know the character of this criminal element and i often wonder why no why is it that Mobe, the wider saint james residents are so protective of these criminal elements is it that they are brainwashed to believe that these criminals are some sort of protectors or is it that someone just love likes but just really can't get it and then when all hell breaks loose in your communities and the same criminal elements that you have protected over the years become uncontrollable and no one is no longer safe, then we point fingers at the JDF and also at the JCF and stating that they're not doing enough to protect these communities. But you are the reasons why these criminal elements have risen to the prominence and become the thorns in your very life. The residents of these communities who claim to say 
them not like the crime we are going in a them community is the same ones who are the hear no evil, see no evil. Now this next one presently on your screen is known as Sirius. S-I-R-I-U-S. That's how he spells it. He's a so-called artist also. So another criminal element living under the guise of being an artist. He is one of the influential persons in the knockings and clappings of the youth known as Chad. So some of these persons where we see and oh big artists love him song loud the youth a fight you a fight the ghetto youth and the spot and all these things when i need to understand that a lot of them are the main instigators behind a lot of persons who have lost their lives in the saint james police division no serious his birth name is nicardo palmer and he's one of the main instigators, the influential factors surrounding the knockings and clappings that resulted in the latter life of Chad. So for those who never know, for those who need to know, and for those who already know, now you're in the know. Now the last thing that we are going to talk about is the brother known as Marvin Christie. But more popularly known in the streets as Bolo. Now, as for him, as I stated in yesterday morning's vlog, he's a known taxi operator that does only charters during the day and plies the route in the nights anytime it strikes 12, as he makes more money because fears are doubled. But he also increases the risk of losing his life, which he did. And he also gets to avoid the long arms of the law, who is enforcing the Road Traffic Act. But Bolo was not a Nakis and Clappis. He's from a certain area that sometimes forces you to do certain favors, certain things, just so you can live in peace in that area. So one of such circumstances may have happened that led to the demise of Bolo. But for sure, he was not a crime producer. Now his brother, on the other hand, known as Twin, and his brother's friend, known as Toddler. Those two persons are of very interesting characters, which may or may not have led to his demise. Because we all know, say, in a Jamaica, it can't catch Quaco, catch him shot thing, is most definitely real. So the parish of St. James that was once known as our tourism hub, still is somewhat as narrowed down to a haven of criminal elements. Now, sometimes as much as I'm happy to see the developments in our second capital, sometimes I selfishly wish some of these persons did not have any money because when they were poor and living in poverty, it was peace among the people. But as soon as a man start eat a food, some eat a food by ill getting gains, some by the means of music, and some by some other illicit ways they start to live a certain lifestyle and wanting to become dons for their communities. And instead of using these monies to uplift and build 
their communities. They use these monies to buy guns and ammunition to tear down their communities and take the lives of the same regular ones and ones them around them that they went to school with. And as funny as this may sound, many even share the same baby mother that just goes to show how closely knitted some of them were. Now it is just really, really sad, my peeps. But St. James is what it is. And it seems as if they have reached a path of no return. But I hope I am wrong. And I hope that there is a still hope for the parish of St. James to return to its former glory. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.